Live from Fayetteville, this is your Razorback Nation Report, powered by your Central Arkansas Honda dealers. Coming to you live today from Razorback Stadium. New coach, new offense, new jerseys, and yes, even a new look field at Razorback Stadium. A huge new hog logo is dressing up midfield. You know, in fact, so many changes, such a long offseason. It seemed like game one would never get here, but the day has arrived. And the Razorbacks, especially early, just want to keep it simple. They want to make sure everybody knows their game one assignments, and that starts first and foremost with starting quarterback Casey Dick. You know, an interesting note on the Razorback quarterbacks, Bobby Petrino said that Nathan Dick, would be the backup quarterback, the second QB to come into the game. They're not ready to burn the red shirt of freshman Tyler Wilson just yet. But back to Bobby Petrino, the anticipation for him has definitely peaked. I'm excited about it. I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to see how we execute and how we take over what we've done in practice and, and get out there and, and play on, on the field without the coaches around. You know, I, I always try to get the coaches off the field at times so the players quit looking for their coach after every play. They got to find the huddle. They got to get the communication and work at a good tempo. So, yeah, I can't wait to get going. So it's Western Illinois, the Leathernecks versus the Arkansas Razorbacks to kick off the 2008 season here at Razorback Stadium. Game time, six o'clock. A couple of FYI notes: you cannot leave at halftime. No re-entry. You can't leave, go tailgating, and come back in. Also, no tobacco in the stadium at all this season. So Aaron Nolan, leave your skull can at home this year because it's been outlawed. Let's head down to you in Little Rock for a little more sports. Thanks a lot, AP. Game time set for 6 o'clock for the Hogs. Of course, we'll have plenty more as the week progresses. Now, as far as UCA, they topped the Reddies of Henderson State last night, 38-14. to In that game, senior Bear quarterback Nathan Brown had 367 yards passing and jumped on top of the career passing yards list at UCA. Today, we caught up with Brown, who said he'd been studying film of the game on and off all day long, and even though it was a big win, he said the Bears still have plenty to work on. But when it comes to that record, he humbly says it's more than just about me. I've always said the numbers can be deceiving as a quarterback because a lot, of, a lot of times it depends on the guys around you, and I've been blessed to be around a great coaching staff and a lot of great players. So all that's a combination of, of end of the record, but obviously I'm, I'm excited. Now, just down the road from UCA is Conway High School. In one week from today, the Wampus Cats welcome number five Bentonville to Conway in their first game of the year. Tonight, the focus of our Fearless Friday report is all about those Wampus Cats. Coach Kenny Smith and the Cats have to improve off a three and seven mark from last season. While he knows their weakness is size, Coach says he's, he's excited about the season and his team's biggest strength, their heart, a big heart in any condition. Very excited, you know, they, they, I can't be more happy about the way they've responded to things, you know, as you know, because you're out in it too, but, you know, last week it was in the 80s, and, and man, we had some spirited practices, and, and yesterday it was hot, and, and uh, still had spirited practices, so that's just, that just tells you the mettle of these, of these young men. For more high school info, of course, go to our website, click on Fearless Friday. Bob, I know in this type of heat, I'm not quite as excited to go practice football as I used to be. I'm not excited to do anything outside in this heat. <laughs> I tell you what, going out there you know, today with that camera on my shoulder, woo! Yeah, that takes a lot, so warm. You know, a lot of credit to these young athletes. Yeah, they're, they're going after it for they sure. They drink plenty of water and stay yeah. safe.